You can start. You can continue from a previously saved game. A Hello, Mr. Neuron here. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z. Okay, it's a bit high still. We will uh, lower the voice a bit. So. Okay, so welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 Collector's Edition. So we're using the PCSX2 emulator. So, as a teenager, I believe in 22, I bought. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. It was my first Dragon Ball Z game and a fighting game for the PlayStation 2. I played the entire game, unlocked everything and such. In 23, I bought the second game. Alright, so I bought the second game in 23 and the first game in 22. However, I totally missed out on the third game as a teenager. I believe I checked the the cover back in I back then in the store and read on the cover and I saw that it added a bunch of Dragon Ball GT characters so GT was the anime only section of Dragon Ball that was never made in, in manga form I have all the 42 manga volumes so I, I bought all the 42 manga volumes of Dragon Ball Z back in 20... I believe 22 and 23 I believe Dragon Ball arrived as a manga in 22 in Sweden. The anime never had, probably because it was uh, too violent for the Swedish audience. I believe uh, Swedish kids would have loved it, but uh, you know, the adults in Sweden do not like violent cartoons. So that's why we had uh, Pokemon but and Digimon, but we didn't have Dragon Ball Z. We did have Sailor Moon first season despite it being pretty violent but the second season of Sailor Moon is even more violent and uh, it never had probably because of that reason okay so Dragon Ball Z I was a huge fan and I bought the first two games I never bought the third game because uh, I thought that uh, the movies uh, they suck and uh, this game seemed to only add um, a few new characters from the movies that I didn't care about. But I was wrong. This this game has an actual RPG story mode that I would have loved as a teenager. And also it, it has improved the fighting game mechanics of the second game. Yeah, you can say that it has, um, <coughs> it has improved everything good in, in Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. And, and this game was released in... Uh, I believe November 24, 2004. So uh, this game, unlike the others, I have never finished. If I'm gonna play the story mode, I will play it on the on the PlayStation 3 re uh, remaster released in 2014. But we will check all the modes in this. So we have Dragon Arena. So Dragon Arena is uh, some mini games. Like the Babadis spaceship, probably. Of course, it has the practice mode where you can train. The world tournament mode. All right, we will try out the world tournament mode first. The world tournament. Please choose your fighting class. We have four different. Uh, <coughs> levels. Cell Games is the when it fi 5 rounds. Advanced is also 5 rounds. Cell Games have probably different rules than the other ones. We have added the Novice. We'll go for Novice. We can also play... We can play more than one player. 
Uh, so if we have two controllers connected then we can control everyone by switching the controller. So this is local multiplayer. Um, so when you play for example eight uh, players you will control uh, the player one controller will control four of them and the player two controller will control the other four but sometimes characters will move uh, to different controllers based on what side of the tournament uh, they are on and also there are computer players too we will go for one player so this is just a preview of the, all the features of the third game we are not gonna play the entire story mode here if i'm gonna play it i will play it on the remaster for the playstation 3 so i'm using the pcsx2 emulator for the playstation 2 which enhances the graphics and makes it hd 1920 1080p but uh, of course the graphics are even better when using the playstation 3 game that's why we will play it on the playstation 3 and unlock everything and such if we're gonna play it in the story mode this is more of a preview Okay, so the game has uh, the characters. We already saw a previous video of 9 hours where I let the AI fight it, uh, itself. Where I went through all the characters. But we have Goku in his normal outfit. And uh, in, in the tournament mode we can't pick the other looks, I think. So we can't pick the other looks, but we can uh, choose the custom character. So Goku main character we have Kid Goku he's added to this game he's new um, so Dragon Ball starred uh, Kid Goku and Dragon Ball Z starred adult Goku for most of it at least okay and then we have Son Gohan uh, Goku's kid Kid Gohan here we have Teen Gohan we have adult Gohan then we have Great Saiyaman, which is adult Gohan, but as a superhero, it's like a comedic relief character of the Buu saga. We have Son Goten, Goku's second kid, with Chi Chi. We have Vegeta, uh, and uh, we have Trunks, Vegeta's son from the future. We have Kid Trunks, which is the same guy, but as a kid in the ordinary timeline. We have Krillin, Goku's old childhood friend. And then we have Piccolo. We have Taiyan or Tenshin Han. We have Yamcha. We have Hercule or Mr. Satan. In the Japanese and European release. We have Vidal. <coughs> which is Mr. Satan's or Hercule's daughter. <coughs> we have Supreme Kai. Ub, which is Majin Buu or Buu after he is um, <coughs> reincarnated after his defeat unlike Buu he is good and pure hearted okay, we have Raditz Goku's evil brother we have Nappa Vegeta's evil companion in the Saiyan saga we have Captain Ginyu leader, leader of the Ginyu force we have Rakum, uh, the second strongest person in the Guinea Force. <coughs> we have Frieza. And in this game, unlike in previous games, I believe he can transform all the way to his... Uh, he can use all his transformations. His uh, second transformation, his third transformation, his final form and his ultimate form. And then he can also, through a skill, he can use the Frieza spaceship, which will make him the... Mecha Freezer when he has uh, lost all his health then he will respawn as Mecha Freezer and fight some more. We have Android 16 or Cyborg 16 as is known in the Swedish manga and probably some other languages too. We have Android 17, Android 18, Dr. Jero. <coughs> we have Cell and he can transform into all his forms. I believe Imperfect Cell perfect cell and ultimate perfect cell then we have Majin Buu we have Super Buu and he can transform into Gohan Absorbed and uh, Gotenks Absorbed I believe <coughs> plus I believe he has uh, some unique uh, transformations in the game that you can't start out with but where he can absorb Piccolo, Frieza, Cell and some others okay we have Kid Buu final form of Buu most powerful form 
and then we have Dabra or Demon King Dabra. We have Cooler, probably brother of Freeze or something. He's from a movie. I didn't watch the movie. And um, we have Bardock, which is Goku's father. So he's also Raditz's father. Uh, and he's, um, as far as I know, good. Might be wrong. I haven't seen the actual movie. We have Broly, an evil Saiyan that wants to defeat Goku. Okay, this is from a movie. We have Omega Shenron from Dragon Ball GT. He's probably the most strongest enemy, the strongest enemy in Dragon Ball GT. I haven't really watched Dragon Ball GT. Okay, Cyberman, that's the goons of Nappa in the Saiyan saga. That is uh, that the majority of the sea fighters are fighting. Okay, so Goku and his friends, they are the sea fighters. And the Cybermen are like the basic enemies that they fight first before fighting the Saiyans. Uh, cell Juniors, they are similar to the Cybermen. They are like Cell's version of the Cybermen that are fighting the weaker members of the Sea Fighters. While Son Gohan is, Team Gohan is fighting Cell himself. He's the only one strong enough to face Cell. And that's all the characters here. So... Um, <coughs> we will go for. Uh, we will play as Vegeta. And custom, but. Yeah, we can play as. Okay, I clicked wrong there. Bang attack. Yeah, custom. We will play as Vegeta. So when we scroll the rotational buttons, we make the Cyberman move up like that from the ground. Hail the Prince of Saiyan! <laughs> Interesting! Both to center! So I have never actually played this game before. I've owned it since 29 or 2009, but I've never really played it. Back then I was 19 years old. When the game released in November 24 or 2004, I was 14. To f uh, about to f uh, I believe in December 24, I I uh, became eight, uh, 15 years old. So so I was 14 to 15 years old when this game released. Uh, and it's improved compared to the second game in every area. It's like uh, an improved second game. It's like they added a, an update similar to when modders update their mods. It's like an update to the second game that improves it in every area. It has the same controllers, new gameplay features, better graphics. Uh, we are already out, we'll try again. More cinematics. We lost that round. Didn't go well. I'm not very good at this game anymore. I used to be good at it back as a, te as a teenager, at least good in the first two games. Um, and the controllers are the same, so I would have been pretty good in this too. Let's try again. Let's try Android 18. I don't know why we can't pick the custom skins in, in tournament mode. In dual mode we can choose different skins for them. It doesn't work in the tournament mode, at least not the same buttons. Ah, we are facing Android 17. I'm not used to, to using those uh, bursts either. 
these attacks. I don't know exactly what to do here. Not used to them at all. Uh, we should click on the buttons that show, I believe. Now I fucked up totally. So not used at all to these uh, buttons. Mini game. It's more uh, annoying to do super attacks in this game because you, they require you to do those uh, mini games where you press certain buttons. If you fail, the attack will fail and won't finish in total. Here, I guess we should just click on a random button, and if you're lucky, you will succeed. Not at all good at this. Uh, unfortunately, when I tried Tank H3, the graphics weren't perfect. There were some graphical errors with some characters yeah, where they looked weird, and there were no fix for for them. Uh, so I'm using uh, like configuration files that uh, are pre pre-made for certain games for the PlayStation 2, but. Uh, for the Dragon Ball games there are no such files but the uh, Budokai games look perfect unfortunately the Tengeichi games didn't the they look a little bit off Next, the starts now. so we won that one, that's good managed to throw him out of the ring <coughs> Ah, on, on L2 we activate the burst mode. And then when we attack with a special move, we automatically trigger this. I probably fucked up with the buttons. Didn't pay him enough attention. So when I played those 9 hours previously where I used to watch the AEF fight, I didn't watch for 9 hours straight. I placed the Bandicam recorder on pause, which is possible with the Bandicam recorder. So whenever I went to sleep or whenever I ate or something, or whenever I needed to go do personal business, I just placed it on pause. And then I resumed the recording. When I returned, I didn't know that was possible prior to using the latest version of Bandicam. Uh, so now I know how uh, people that play for 20 hours do it without, you know, interruptions. They place the recorder on pause mode and then when they return to the screen they just enable the recorder again. That means that it uh, doesn't record during the time it's on pause mode but it still uh, is able to, to, re to resume recording in the same video file. So that's why it ended up in 9 hours. I had many pauses during those 9 hours. But uh, it all ended up one file. So we lost the tournament. I probably played for 4 hours and then I took a pause and then I slept for a few hours and then I played for 4 hours more. Okay. We can check Dragon Arena now. Ah, uh, we can have come, we come here too. Let's check it. Or maybe not. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Welcome to the secret arena of the infamous Red Ribbon Army. So, who's it gonna be? I don't know what that 
us. Check the dragon universe, but no, we will change the skill of the. If we're gonna use the AI versus AI, then they need to be on maximum strength. I just prefer the AI versus AI because I suck in the game. Okay, come with come. As a teenager, I was pretty good. But anyway, Red Ribbon Army. have all their attacks enabled, they haven't disabled the Super Saiyan 4 for Goku or anything else. So they have everything. That's probably the Dragon Ball GT look of Son Goku. And a random look for Android 18, unique for this game and the other Budokai 2 game. So the, the unique skins from the Dragon Ball uh, 2v unique game we are added to this game as extra skins ah android 18 did her super attack against goku she has android 17 as her partner and against others she seems to have uh, krillin against 17 however 17 only had uh, Android 18 as a partner, even against Android 18, so that was a miss, I believe. Or they reason that it's a different 18, because there is one from the future, and then there is one in, in the current timeline, so maybe they did it on purpose. I don't know what uh, the difference is with this mode compared to the ordinary mode. <laughs> so you think you're ready to enter the Red Ribbon Army's secret arena? You're a brave fool. Ah, uh, select characters. Health 20, key 20. Maybe we can use custom characters here. Experience well, yeah, but we are highest level now. Maybe if we didn't have a save where we have unlocked everything maybe we would face really strong opponents here with basic characters and that's why it's difficult unless we have finished the game com versus com is just letting the ai control the characters they, they might still have the same stats okay options we don't want story mode to be a very strong com level or game difficulty on C3 or whatever C2. We want it to be very easy. Okay, let's take a look at the Dragon Universe. New 
new story. So in the story mode we can select characters. Currently we can see that Goku is level 99. He has experience value uh, 1 million, per, uh, actually 10 million. Uh, to next level 0 because we are maximum level. He has health 20, key 20, attack 20, guard 20, arch 20, ability 20 and com 20. If you play this without a finished save file we will be on level 1 of course and have our stats and we can uh, during the store we can level up characters, find items, skills etc. So we can play as Goku, we can play as Kid Gohan, we can play as Teen Gohan, we can play as Adult Gohan, Play as Vegeta, play as Krillin, play as Piccolo, play as Tyen or Tension Han, play as Yamcha, play as Ub, good version of Boo, we can play as Broly. Not all of them are good. The Broly is evil. Piccolo is only evil in the beginning of the story. He, he becomes good later. Same with Vegeta. Yeah, so one evil character, okay. So we can place the sea fighters and some additional characters. Um, most characters can't be played, and uh, when we pick a certain character, we will play through that character's story and battles and such. We will take Vegeta. We can replay the story as many times as we want from scratch, but we will still have higher stats and level uh, if we use a leveled up character. Okay, so when we play the story mode we have text like this and images. We don't care about that. And then we get some uh, 2D pictures with text doing all the story. So no cinematics in this game either, it's like the other game, but worse, in the other game you had uh, actual battle models doing this speaking, here you have 2D pictures, it's a little bit worse here in that sense. Okay, let's go. So the game starts off with Vegeta in his scouter un uh, uniform, as he looks in the first story, story bit. So if you click on R1, you can see the world like this through the scouter. On uh, on a triangle, we can bring up the Dragon Balls. We have zero Dragon Balls currently. We can have seven of, of them. When we gather all of them, we can probably make a wish. Okay, we can also bring up the mini map. You can see that there is a world map. We have a map here. We have a city down here. East city. So we have like a world map we can move on. And remove the map too. It's a pretty cool map. Now the question is how do I speed forward? Because it should be possible to to be faster than this. Select, we can bring up information or one key search, scouter search, start menu, and uh, moving the, the, the rotational uh, stick up is descend, down is ascend, the sides are rotate, the other one is uh, the left one is forward flying burst. Okay, let me check the flying burst. L1 and the rotational button, I see. Weird, it doesn't really seem to work for me. I did manage to do this previously. Maybe I have changed the controller since then. Something is off, as I can't use the burst forward move and I move the rotational button I move like this so it moves to the side it moves forward and backwards and I 
click on the rotational buttons, nothing happens. So I'm supposed to hold L1 and move it in a fast move. Nothing happens, so probably the buttons are not correct, unfortunately. Which would need to be fixed if I'm gonna play the story mode. But yeah, in the story mode you have um, a world map where you move to different locations. Whenever you speak with someone, there will be 2D pictures, so it's a little bit disappointing when it comes to the dialogue and and uh, events and such, but um, it's cool that you have a world map where you move and that you can move to different locations and such. And it has a good model for the character on the world map. We should probably move towards that area over there. The sea rad, it's uh, no, the Saiyan pod over there. Okay, also, I believe that the, fight, the, the fights in the game are like. In the dual mode, in the tournament mode, etc. So you move on the map, you have 2D pictures on the speaking, and then you fight the battles like in the dual mode. So it's like Total War in a sense. You have a world map and you have the battles separate from the world map. Here's a battle point. Unfortunately, I can't speed forward due to the bad controllers. Using the rotational button. Okay. When we click X, we move down. Then we were hovering above that area. Okay, and then we get the uh, the battle. Still a pretty cool store mode the first, uh, I believe, uh, story mode with a world map in a Dragon Ball game since the old games for the Nintendo or NES system, the 8-bit system. And I believe there was one Dragon Ball game with a role-playing mode in for the, I believe, Game Boy Color and for the Super Nintendo or SNES as well. I believe the Super Nintendo game only had the Saiyan Saga, unfortunately. Uh, might be wrong, it might have had the uh, Namekian Saga too, but I think it was only the Saiyan Saga, while the Game Boy Color game had everything up until Boo, so it's the most uh, expansive one. And then the NES games, I believe there were three different games, the first one was the Saiyan Saga, the second uh, game was I believe the Namekian Saga and the Android Saga, and then the third game was the Boo Saga, I believe. Might be wrong. Uh, but uh, the SNES game only had the Saiyan Saga, I believe, or the Namekian and, uh, and Saiyan Saga. This game, of course, have everything up until Boo and probably some Dragon Ball GT as well. So we would have leveled up here, but we are already maximum level. We defeated the Saiyan Man. So in this story mode, we can play as all those characters and move on a map and fight the battles like in the story, all the way up until Dragon Ball GT and level up characters and find skills, uh, capsules or skills in this game and give them new abilities, transformations and such. So it's a pretty cool game, but uh, as the burst do not work we won't play it. Okay, I just wanted to preview this game too. So this game and the, the first game had a remaster released for the PlayStation 3 in 20... in 20... released in 2014. The only bad thing with remaster was that uh, it had uh, different music. Okay, but it has better graphics. The second game never did get a, a, a remaster. Okay, but if you use the PCSX2 emulator it will still look way better than on the PlayStation 2. I believe the PlayStation 2 itself could use these graphics. It's just that um, didn't have a good enough uh, resolution or graphics card, but if you modify it, it's able to use 1920 1080p resolution. So the PlayStation 2 is not that bad, it's just that uh, you need to modify it and add uh, better resolution to it. But, but it's it's able uh, to have better graphics if modified. Okay, uh, so... 
uh, thank you for watching this was a very short video because there was nothing to do I didn't want to play when the burst mode didn't work in the storm mode anyway and uh, we've already s seen everyone fight in the dueling mode and their dragon arena didn't offer much and uh, well tournament is the same as previously in the other games of course I wanted to do this video because I didn't speak in the other one I wanted to comment on the game so this game is highly recommended over the other two games the only reason to play the first game would be the cinematics and the PS2 versions of the game uh, of the games they, they have better music in my opinion but worse uh, graphics and resolution compared to the PlayStation 3 remaster okay thanks for watching